Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what I have for you guys is something a little bit different. And this has been going around for a little bit on YouTube. And I think the original creator was Emily Noel. And this is the $1,000 Sephora Fantasy Basket. So what this is, is if you had $1,000, what would you go buy at Sephora? pretty much it you don't you don't have to need it you don't have to nothing it's just what would be the first things that would come to mind for you to get from Sephora so adding things to my cart I was like wow this is like so random like all the things I picked are like so random I don't know like I never would have thought that these are the things that I would have picked like on some of these but it's good. I kind of like my basket. <laughs> so it went a little bit over a thousand dollars considering tax. Like the items itself were like 987. But then when you add the tax to that, it just added a little bit more than a thousand. I decided to just keep it like that because I wasn't going to drive myself crazy over it. And this is a collab video with my friend Dianelis and Jen. Um, and I will have their videos linked down below as well. So don't forget to check them out, guys, so you can see what they would get if they had $1,000 to shop at Sephora. I also think these videos are like super cool because you get all these ideas of things that you wouldn't think of buying and that other people have on their wish list. So it's super cool. All right, so let's get into it. All right, first thing on my list is from Glow Recipe. And this, I just came across it on the website and I thought it was interesting. Um, I have their watermelon sleep mask and I absolutely love it. So this is the Papaya Sorbet Smoothing Enzyme Cleansing Balm. And I'm not into cleansing balms at all, but I thought that the papaya aspect of it sounded super interesting. So I debated about keeping this in my cart for a little bit, but then I was like, you know what? I think this is this is a good item to keep in the cart. So we're gonna go ahead and keep it. <laughs> also from Glow Recipe, I love anything watermelon. I'm a sucker for watermelon. So is my other friend Dianelis, which is also doing this um, collab with me. And I have the watermelon sleep mask and I saw on the website, the watermelon pink juice oil free moisturizer guys i have to have that <laughs> if i had if i had a thousand dollars to buy it before that would definitely be one of the items because i absolutely love anything watermelon so that definitely had to be in my list and then i came across the watermelon glow vanity set and i was like what is this like this sounds amazing the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask Mini, which I do have one of these and I absolutely love it. It also brings the Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. Are you kidding me? I'm like, I have to try this. Like, I have to have that. And then it also brings a, a Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. So I thought that was amazing. And I said, this has to go in my cart as well. Next thing I added to my cart, which I would have never thought I would add, is this $220 Charlotte Tilbury set. And this is um, the Look look Sets Refresh, and this is in the Pillow Top one. I would have never thought that I would have added this to my cart because Charlotte Tilbury is super expensive. But I keep hearing about Pillow Talk and Pillow Talk and Pillow Talk. So I was like, I need to try this. And I do have like a mini little lipstick, but I've heard so many things about the gloss. I've heard so many things about like everything. So this little set brings a little makeup bag, which has like lip imprints on it. So adorable. It brings mascara and eyeliner the blush which i've also heard amazing things about and i also have been wanting to try the lipstick the lip cheat lipstick the matte revolution lipstick and the luster lip gloss so it brings pretty much everything i want to try in this little set so i said all right this has to definitely go in my cart the next thing i've been hearing about this forever so it's another really expensive item when i put it in my cart i'm like let me put the one ounce size in my cart because it's like a hundred and something dollar item this is the sunday riley good jeans all-in-one lactic acid treatment i've heard so many so many good things about this and i've been wanting to try it but I didn't know like at what moment I would try something that expensive, but given the fact that I'm having a thousand dollars for Sephora, that would be one of the things I would try. 
So supposedly this uh, like takes away wrinkles and it's just amazing for your skin. So next thing I've also heard crazy things about, and this is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And a lot of people love this. And a lot of people have substituted like their foundations for it because they say it's amazing, amazing coverage. I thought to myself, I've got to add that to my cart. Definitely. <laughs> Next thing. Oh my God, I'm so happy that I remembered to add this to my cart because this is one of the things that's actually on my Sephora wish list. And this is, I don't know how many people have heard about this, but I don't think a lot of people have heard about this. This is the Juliet Has a Gun Mini Discovery Set. And this is like a little perfume set. Um, it's all the samples of the brand, okay? And it, I've heard amazing things about it. I've My cousin literally called me the other day because she got a sample of one of the little fragrances in Ipsy. And she's like, I've never had a perfume or like a mist or whatever you want to call it smell this good like I've never her husband was like going crazy about it so I'm like I need to try this out and then I remember where I work one of the moms one day was coming in and we were asking her like what do you have on because it smelled amazing and it was one of the Juliet has a gun perfume things so it literally says, Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. So like when the lady wrote it for us, we were like, what? Like we had never heard about it. We Googled it and we saw that it actually existed. So I'm like, I need to have this set in my life because I need to try. Like I need to smell this. And since I don't know which one I'm going to like, I'd rather get the mini discovery set where I can try all the scents and then decide which one I like. So that was definitely going in my cart. All right, from Urban Decay, um, I have never been a sucker for their naked palettes. I have never had any type of interest in their naked palettes, to be honest with you, especially the original ones. Those are the ones that I hate the most. I don't know. They're, they're just like colors that don't, I just don't gravitate towards. I don't like them. I They don't drive me crazy. So, but the Naked Heat palette and the last ultraviolet palette, I've been kind of like triggered a little bit. Like I've been kind of like intrigued about it. I, I've wanted to try them out. I love purples on the eyes, especially for brunettes like myself. Purples look amazing on the eyes. So I did like that palette. I thought it had really, really pretty purple colors. And then the Naked Heat is a palette that I just love, love, love those type of colors. So those are two that had me kind of intrigued and I'm like, you know what, why not add them to the cart? Also from Urban Decay, I have always heard amazing things about the All Nighter Setting Spray. I have never tried it. I have never gotten a sample of it. I have never been willing to pay the money for it. So given this chance with the $1,000, I would definitely get the Urban All Nighter setting spray and what really sold me on that setting spray is when i took my makeup course my makeup teacher drea she's like set on that setting spray like that's her favorite one she says that it literally does like seal the deal for your makeup so i'm like you know what time to try this <laughs> all right from nars i think i have two things from nars do i Oh no, I think I was, I was going to get two things and then I think I kind of fell asleep on it. So I got the eyeshadow quad. I added that to my cart, the eyeshadow quad from the Orgasm collection. I thought the colors were so beautiful. Like those are the colors that I absolutely love. Like those type of like rosy rose gold colors. Like I love those colors so much on the eyes, like the pinky and you know, I love those colors. So I saw that quad and I'm like, okay, I think I need to add this to my cart because it's super cute. And then I came across like the orgasm blush and lippy set. And I was kind of thinking of changing it, but I think I forgot. So I just kept the orgasm quad. And now that I'm thinking about it, I remembered another palette that I would have loved to add to my collection. And I totally forgot. Um, from Fenty Beauty. I've been dying to try things from Fenty Beauty. Oh my god. So I added the sheer, the slip shine sheer shiny lipstick. I'm pretty sure that I would love that finish. And the packaging is super cute. 
So I definitely added that to my cart. And then I also added their foundation. Now I did try to pick up their foundation not too long ago, but I definitely got a color that is too light for me. So I don't even bother. I haven't even bothered. Like as soon as I saw the bottle, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> So um, I would love to try that foundation. Like I've heard very good things about Fenty Beauty. So I've been really, really wanting to try stuff from them. Super random. From Lily Lashes, I came across this on the Sephora website. And this is the Welcome to Miami collection. So I'm like, Miami, I have to have those lashes. <laughs> you guys know I'm a total Miami girl. And anything that says Miami or has Miami on it, um, I'm going to like and I'm going to want because... That's my city. That's my home. So I saw those lashes and I'm like, okay, I think I need those lashes in my life. <laughs> From Too Faced, I um, put in their foundation because I've been wanting to try their foundation. I think I have a couple foundations on this in this cart. Um, I've been wanting to try their Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Foundation. So I definitely had to add that to the cart. And then I came across this super cute palette. And it says, Shake Your Pom Poms Mini Eyeshadow Palette, Peaches and Cream Collection. I would totally, totally love to have this palette. <laughs> because, I don't know, like, I just, it just reminds me of vacation for some reason. Like, that pink and, like, that kind of green reminds me of palm trees and, like, I don't know. I just, I just really, really liked it a lot. Um, and I would love to take that. I would love to take that on vacation with me. So I definitely had to add that to the cart. Then from the Sephora collection, I came across this as well on the website. And I'm like, okay, excuse me, I need to have that. This is the mini pumpkin infused brush set. And why is that? Because I love pumpkin. You guys know I absolutely love anything that has to do with pumpkin. It has like these super cute orange like handles. I just love pumpkin, guys. Like, I, I read that and I'm like, okay, I, I think you can become a part of my collection. <laughs> um, From Moroccan Oil, okay? You guys know, I don't know if you guys know. Well, it depends if you guys have been following me for a while. You guys know that I am like literally holy grail with my Vichy shampoo. But the other shampoo that I've been able to try and has worked okay for me has been the Moroccan oil shampoo. And I love the smell. I love what it does to the hair. So that is my other option that I would have. I love the conditioner. I love the mask. I love the oil. I love everything. So I actually got the repair shampoo the moisture repair shampoo the moisture repair conditioner the intense hydrating mask and the moroccan oil treatment so i highly recommend that i absolutely love the moroccan oil line i think all of their products are amazing actually my last item so from benefit cosmetics I saw the Gimme Brow and I've heard so many things about it for a while and I love testing different products for the brows. Um, I'm I'm not that picky with the brow products to be honest with you. Like I don't do so much to my brows so I'm not that picky with brow products but I've always wanted to try the Gimme Brow so I definitely added that to the cart. And with that being said, my total amount of products is 22. I don't feel like I've talked about 22 products but yeah, it's 22 and the grand total was $987.50, but when you add taxes, it goes a little over a thousand. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There, are, I'm pretty sure there are definitely other products that I would love to try, but I left it at the first things that I decided to pick and choose. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Consider yourself tagged as well. If you guys like, um, film the video let me know that you filmed it so I could go check it out because I would definitely love to try out whatever products you pick I thought this was super fun to film I loved it I had a fun time with it I hope you guys enjoy it as well just as much as I do and I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye my loves don't forget to check out my two friends from this collab Dianelis and Jen I hope you guys enjoy their videos as well and that's all for today my loves